Ni hao, I'm Yang Wood. Welcome to our Mandarin Chinese class. In today's lesson, we are going to learn the strong orders of Chinese characters, and I will also teach you how to write some single component Chinese characters. First, let me explain. There are two types of structures for Chinese characters. Single component characters, which have one component, and compound characters, which have two or more components. And here are the five characters we are going to learn today. Shan, Shui, Feng, Qi, Ren. Now let's start from the first one. Shan, Shan, please read after me. Shan, first tone. It means mountain. Shan, take a look at this character. When we learn how to write it, we can imagine how the ancient Chinese people created this character. It's just like a mountain, right? Shan. Shan. Now, let's see how it is written. Follow me. First stroke, shu. Shu. Second stroke, shu zhe. Shu zhe. Last stroke, shu. Shu. Shu zhe. Shu. If you are not familiar with uh, the strokes, please refer to the video link below. Basic strokes of Chinese characters. Okay. Now, let's do it again. Shu, shu zhe, shu. Okay. So here are the rules. Middle preceding size. First stroke, shu is in the middle. Second stroke. On the left, uh, on the left side, shu zhe, and the last stroke on the right side, shu. Middle preceding size. Are you clear? So the second character follows the same rule. Please read after me. Shui, shui, third tone. Shui, it means water. Shui. Look at this character. It's just like flowing water, right? Such a beautiful character. Now let us see how it is written. Middle preceding size. First stroke, shu go, shu go, one stroke. Second stroke, on the left side, heng pie, heng pie. On the right side. Pie, na. Again. Shu go, heng pie, pie, na. Are you clear? Water, water, shui. Now here is a sentence for these two characters. 我喜欢山水画。我 means I. 喜欢 means like, 山 means mountain, 水 means water, but here it means rivers. 画 means painting, 山水画 means paintings about、uh, mountains and rivers. 我喜欢山水画 means I like landscape painting. Are you clear? 我喜欢山水画 Next character, please read after me. 风，风 ，it means wind. But look at this character; it's a bit difficult, right? Don't be afraid. Follow me closely. First stroke, 撇，撇 Second stroke, 横斜钩，横斜钩 Go on. Inside, 撇，点，点 means point. But this point is rather long. Here is the rule. Outside preceding inside. You have to finish the outside structure first, and then finish the inside part. Let's do it again. 撇，横斜钩，撇，点。Wind， 风，风。Understood. Well, let's continue. 
Here is the concept. Feng shui. Have you ever heard about it? Feng shui. But feng shui refers to the situation of a residential sites, cemeteries, office location, indoor outdoor environment, your furniture arrangement, everything. They all have an energy, or qi, and it vibrates together to create harmony, peace, and balance in your life. So many Chinese people believe that feng shui can affect the fortunes of their families. It's very popular in China. Let's move on to the next one. Please read after me. Qi. Qi means air or energy. Qi. But in Chinese medicine, qi refers to the power that makes the body organs function. Qi. Qi. Let us see how it is written. Follow me. First stroke, pie. Pie. Second stroke, heng. Again. Heng, go on. Heng, heng xie go. Heng xie go. Okay, do you still remember? Heng xie go is the second stroke of feng, wind. Right? Heng xie go. So here is the rule from left to right and from top to bottom. Let's do it again. Pie, heng, heng, heng xie go. Clear? Qi. Qi means air or energy. Last character, let's read together. Ren. Ren, it means people or person or human being. Ren, look at this character. It's just like someone is walking, right? And it is very easy to be written. Follow me. Pie na. Pie na. Just like a person, right? Ren. Ren means people or human being. Now, let's make a conclusion of all these five characters. Please read after me. Shan. Shui. Feng. Qi. Ren. They are all about nature, natural world. I want all my friends and followers and fans to have a relaxing and harmonious and natural life. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I will provide you more learning materials in future lessons. Bye bye.